Unlike other creatures that inhabit the Earth, humans are capable of activity that can cause devastating and widespread harm to our natural environment. Burning fossil fuels for energy creates greenhouse gases that trap heat in the atmosphere, causing temperatures to rise. Manufacturing of plastics and other materials that make daily life more convenient has produced pollution on land and in our seas. But while climate change and the pervasiveness of plastics are making the world hotter and dirtier, both may be having a less obvious but alarming impact on human health by possibly increasing the risk of some forms of cancer. Climate change and other environmental damage appear to be making skin cancer more common. As heat waves occur more often and last longer, people around the world are spending more time outdoors, exposing their skin to the harmful effects of the sun's ultraviolet rays. Unfortunately, depletion of the ozone in the atmosphere by industrial chemicals and human activity is allowing more of these ultraviolet rays to reach the Earth. Together, these phenomena may explain why rates of invasive melanoma, a potentially deadly form of skin cancer, have increased 31% over the last decade in the United States. Skin cancer rates are increasing in other countries, too. As the planet becomes hotter, wildfires are becoming more destructive. The number of acres burned by wildfires in the United States has doubled since the 1990s and the problem is likely to get worse. Smoke from wildfires pollutes the air with toxins such as benzene and formaldehyde, which are found in cigarette smoke and can cause lung cancer. One study found that people who lived near areas where wildfires occurred had an increased risk for lung cancer and brain tumors. Climate change appears to be making some types of natural disaster more common, which could have long-term effects on our health. In 2017, Hurricane Harvey dumped one trillion gallons of water on Houston, Texas, drenching some areas with nearly a year's worth of rain in just a few days. Scientists estimated that warming of the Earth made Hurricane Harvey 3.5 times more likely to happen. Hurricane Harvey flooded chemical plants, oil refineries, and Superfund sites. As a result, Huge amounts of cancer-causing toxins were released into the local community. Some of these toxins, such as dioxin, can linger in the environment for decades. Natural disasters can also interfere with cancer treatment by closing roads and shutting down clinics due to loss of power. Missing even a single cancer treatment can worsen a patient's outcome. A 2019 study in the Journal of the American Medical Association found that lung cancer patients who had their radiation treatments delayed due to hurricanes were up to 27% more likely to die than other patients in areas unaffected by these storms. The rising temperatures of a warming planet will also affect agriculture. While sun and heat help crops grow, too much can have downsides. For example, Hot and humid conditions promote growth of fungi. That includes a form of fungus that produces cancer-causing chemicals, or carcinogens, known as aflatoxins, which can grow on corn, peanuts, and other crops. These toxins increase the risk for liver cancer, and you could be exposed to them by eating contaminated peanuts or consuming meat or dairy products from animals fed tainted corn. Human activity can affect the environment in other ways, such as how we dispose of waste. The world produces 380 million tons of plastic each year. Much of that plastic goes into water bottles, food containers, and other products that are used once, then discarded in landfills and in our seas. Some experts predict that one day there will be more plastic than fish in our oceans. Microparticles from plastics are found in fish, shellfish, and other marine animals. But they also turn up in other foods we eat, 
as well as the water we drink and the air we breathe. Whether that increases our risk for cancer and other diseases is unknown. However, certain types of plastic have raised concerns. For example, there's growing interest in a chemical called BPA, which is found in plastic used to make various products, including some reusable water bottles and food containers. It's also found in a coating on cash register receipts printed on thermal paper. BPA is an endocrine disruptor, which means it interferes with healthy levels of hormones, specifically the female hormone, estrogen. Lab studies also show that BPA damages DNA and alters the normal life cycle of human cells. Although more study is needed, some early evidence suggests that exposure to BPA could promote certain forms of cancer, including breast cancer. The U.S. Food and Drug Administration says that most people aren't exposed to enough BPA to cause cancer or any other disease though other scientists say we can't be certain that's true. Buying and using a BPA-free water bottle instead of drinking from a single-use plastic bottle limits your exposure to a possible carcinogen while helping to reduce plastics waste. Also, don't recycle paper receipts, which could pass along BPA to new paper products. You can also help make the world healthier by taking simple steps that can slow climate change such as swapping incandescent light bulbs for LED bulbs, which use far less energy. Trading a gasoline-guzzling car for an electric vehicle will reduce greenhouse gas emissions, too. And, of course, take all the necessary steps to keep yourself healthy. Eat a balanced diet and get plenty of exercise. See your doctor on a regular basis for checkups and health screenings. And if you're diagnosed with cancer or any other condition, make sure you learn about all of your treatment options.